there's this idea that isn't entirely without merit, though I think speaks to a larger issue of how we communicate value and purpose to our students and how students are conditioned in the U.S. academic system at large. Sorry, quick tangent. But uh, there's this idea that if, if an activity isn't graded, students won't do it. In an online class, that means that discussion boards are usually graded. They often are in face-to-face -face classes as well. We tend to call it participation and grade accordingly. But that grading often works in different ways. In a face-to-face -face class, we usually don't document every single student and whether or not they spoke up that day or what they said. We tend to look at trends instead. How often do we recall students speaking up? Were they absent? It's not a perfect system by any stretch, and you know it allows for particular students, often already in positions of elevated privilege or status, to dominate conversations. It can ignore valuable perspectives from students whose backgrounds, environments, or cultures have discouraged them to speak up. And it relies on our memories and feelings, not data. In an online class, however, we often skew too far the other way. Now that we can easily track whether or not each student participated in the online discussion, we can use that as a grading tool. But that means the quiet student who speaks up a handful of times over the quarter, but always with something insightful to say, will have a pretty great participation grade in a face-to-face -face class and a poor one in an online class. Data is fantastic, but let's never forget that data is a tool and tools are almost always both helpful and harmful. Further, we often grade these discussions differently. In a face-to-face -face conversation, things are said, responded to, ignored, or brought into larger conversations, but again, they're not typically documented. When grading, we recollect what we think was said, what we felt about it, our sense of its weight in the conversation, and often just that it existed, and we grade based on that. Dwayne spoke up consistently over the quarter, so gets an A. Yasmin spoke up a few times, but her points were often ignored in the larger conversation. She gets a B. Sharon was always present, but almost never spoke, so she gets a C, for example. In the online discussion, though, we have a record of the conversation. We have the transcript right there in front of us, which opens up a new option. Grading not for existence, but for quality. Dwayne always responded, but usually just said that someone's points were great and seldom addressed the prompt, so now he gets a B. Yasmin had consistently good things to say, but she didn't post each week, or she didn't always make the requisite responses to her peers, so she gets a C. Sharon may have read every post, but never responded. She gets an F. The same circumstances, but the tool used pushes us, often subconsciously, to grade differently. Further, when we grade based on quality, students have to be always on. They can't work through a problem within the discussion because being wrong initially can mean a poor grade. And if I'm not confident at the outset that I think I have the right answer, if I think I'm going to be wrong, then I might question participating at all. If it's a bad grade for having the wrong answer or a bad grade for not participating, well, then why spend my limited time on that discussion? I'm getting a bad grade either way. Grammar and spelling, too, will factor in in ways that they don't in a verbal discussion. So as you think about whether or not to grade your discussions, keep those things in mind. Are we building our discussions in a way that disincentivizes students from participating? Are the grades in our class a measure of students' mastery of the course outcomes or a measure of how well-spoken they are? Are we grading students on their spelling if we wouldn't do that in a face-to-face -face discussion? Make sure that whatever grading structure you are using, if using one at all, isn't creating or furthering existing inequities.